guys to our Saturday Night Live where we show you what kind of things we buy out junking, thrifting, and otherwise shopping and tell you what we paid for, what we'll sell it for, and um, what we're going to do to it. Some of the things get painted or transformed. If you love junk as much as we do and you haven't done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. We go live, what, 8.30? 8.30 Mountain Time Every on Saturdays. Saturdays. All right. Boom. 8.30 p.m. <laughs> 8.30 p.m., that's right. It's eight, important. 8.30 a.m., I'm pretty sure Zip was still snoozing this morning. No, not today. How's up? <clears throat> okay, 8.15. All right, but you, you know, if I don't have to get the kids to school and I don't have a set thing, I usually stay up later than I should, and then I do sleep in a little. It is true. Some of the things that you're going to see tonight, if you watched yesterday's video, you saw us buy, but we're going to go over everything plus the new stuff we got today. And pricing. You'll get, like, full pricing of what we're going to do to it. Yep. All right, so fun little mirror. This was $5. It's plastic, but not, not super huge, probably about 18 inches across right there. But it's got lots of really great detail all along in through here. And it's got this molded floral de design on the outside and painted up. It'll probably go for what, about 30 25? Yeah, about $29.95. We actually just sold a mirror just like that this last week for $29.95. We usually yeah. paint them white, and since that one's black, I feel like the white and the black really go good together because we paint it, then we wet distress it to bring out the black, and it just makes everything look awesome. I'm going to have to show you these mirrors. We have two more. We didn't show these super close in the video from yesterday. But lots of great detail. This mirror actually has like some age spots and things. It's very, very well aged. And yeah, it's got some great patina. Sometimes, check out like the green on here. I'm guessing it was painted with like metallic paint. I don't know. It's got like the green patina. It's actually a wooden frame with plaster cast uh, molds on it. So that's how you know it's a little bit older because like the other ones I've showed you is just all plastic. And this is wood with plaster. And normally these types of gold frames I do not paint. I leave them as is. We've got two. Let's see if I can show it to you without blinding you. So to show you the whole thing. Oh, no, the lights. All right, there, there's the top of it. Yeah. And then here's another one. This one was also $10. And these mirrors sell for about $40. The oval ones are always really popular and go first. But I generally ask about $39.95 for them. So for a $10 purchase price, that's a good markup. And we're just going to clean them really well. And at $40, they're actually a really good deal. Because if you go into like high-end boutiques, they're usually upwards of like $100. So they make, we make some money. They get a good deal. Everybody wins. All right. What is this? Okay. We have one more mirror, but it's attached to some furniture. So let's show them all this small stuff. Oh, and then we'll show the furniture in the side piece there. Let's talk about the turtle let's in the room. Let's talk about the turtle in the room. I was going to say, let's talk about the turtle in the room. Like, that's what my mind was thinking. <laughs> we must hang out a lot. I, I feel like we do spend a good amount of time together. So I saw the turtle, and I was like, um, I'm not going to buy that. And then I, then I walked past it again. Then I saw somebody pick it up, and I thought maybe I was going to lose my opportunity. But she didn't buy the turtle, so I did. And... The turtle is neither French country, nor farmhouse, nor whatever, but I just thought it was cool. And right now, like, a lot of teenage girls are really into Save the Turtles, kind of like when I was a teenager. So I thought... It's a, a thing. It's Use a, totally a paper a straw. Thing. Look up Visco Girl, V-S-C-O Girl. And that's like, there's scrunchies and the Save the Turtles and all that kind of stuff. So we got our turtle. We're going to paint it. And I think... We'll probably paint this tonight, so stay tuned till the end. <laughs> Watch this guy get painted and transformed. I don't transformed. know what color yet, but worst it's, case scenario, I'm pretty sure my teenage daughter's going to want it. It's metal, though, and it's awesome. Gil says, I'm moving more towards French farmhouse style. This is true. We have like a... It, a it's basically thing. where she's always wanted to be. We but just can be more particular now. There. I feel like when I went to France and then I did some researching, I've really been like drawing those vibes out. But sometimes they're just plain old farmhouse, which these baskets are. I don't buy apple baskets a ton because they're not a huge seller. I have a few in the shop. But these are like oversized apple baskets. And they're, I really like those. They're probably close to an actual U.S. bushel. So they might be not necessarily authentic, but the right size. Good replicas. 
Yeah, so five. Well, I mean, they're authentically dirty. Well, this one has lived outside for sure. This I one, like I'm not they, sure. I feel like they've lo both lived their life a little bit outside. They're pretty dirty. Which makes them great. That's what we want. They got rusty handles and a little bit of uh, dirt and dust on them. So they're $5 each. We'll probably wipe them down so they're not quite as dirty. And then they'll probably sell for like 15 or 20 I need to look up the market value for them. But I think they're cool. They're big, large apple baskets. So Yeah. Debbie says she loves the turtle. Somebody said mermaid tail or old 57. I'm probably going to make the turtle look a little bit farmhouse. I know you're shocked, but it's got to go in the shop. So it's probably not going to be like a big, bright piece. So we found these in the Murray thrift store because we, we went to four this five thrift stores this week, which is not our normal, but we felt like doing a thrift with me video. So we took you guys along. What happened is Friday morning we woke up and I'm like, I am not in the mood to paint furniture. And Zeb's like, I'm not in the mood either. I'm like, let's just go shopping while the kids are at school. Let's go thrifting. I mean, it's still work, right? Because we're filming, buying stuff for the shop. So that's what we did. But the awesome thing is we met like three or four people while we, while we were out who subscribed to our channel. Yeah. And we don't normally see because we don't go up north. So that was kind of fun. All right. So these are just vases. I, there was probably 30 of them at this one thrift store. They were $2 each. Um, I'm assuming someone had a wedding or something and these were centerpieces yeah. and they just dumped them when they were done with them But they're perfect. They're like they're, they're trying to be galvanized, but they're not they're they're rustier and more rustic than that Yeah, and we won't paint these these will just get put in the shop. They're perfect for springtime people are always looking for things to display 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 flowers Look at this. or greenery two dollar greenery grass Bam! Oh my gosh, you're like a staging ninja. Oh my god. We I, thought I, you were the stamp stencil ninja, but now you're the staging ninja. So we got the green ring for two dollars from a thrift store, and look at that. Just well, it's ready. I, it's I ready to go. I kind of like them all stacked, so it'd be cool to like, like stack them all and then just have the green ring in the top. You line. know, throw this, throw this in like a corner or something, and you're golden. Did you say how much you'd sell these for? Uh, I missed it if you did. No, I didn't. Probably like six. 95 or 7.95 so somewhere in the seven to eight dollars greenery range. price separately yeah the greenery i price separately usually like six bucks and you know what people buy it it's funny because i think well people aren't going to probably buy it they can just pick it up at their local th you know craft store but people buy my greenery all the time and then i gotta buy more so these terracotta pots were a dollar a piece we were at the las vegas market which is a home decor sell for wholesalers um, and we saw these, these were for, from Creative Co-op. We saw these and we didn't get them because they were too much for us to have like a good buy-in point on them for how many we had to buy. But we got four of them for a dollar a piece. And I think that's a all the more makes we- A dollar makes you holla. That's all the more we probably <laughs> would have uh, sold anyways, like four or five of them. It wouldn't have been like a huge, like we need to buy 30 kind of thing. No, and I like them. I like, I probably won't do anything to them and we'll sell them for like, four or five bucks a piece for the it's big It's like ones. they did a resist on on something, like they splattered it on there. I actually like this one first the best. Oh, careful with the green one. But those were 50 cents a piece. So probably like, okay, so probably three ninety five for the little baby ones and like five ninety five for like big ones. Yeah. So everybody keeps asking me and I'm going to have to ask you this question, Zeb. Did you go back? I'm going to yell it because it's all in caps. Ange wants to know, did you go back with the big truck for the big stuff no i didn't I did even not. know we filmed that i think that was up that was all the way up in salt lake in sugar house and it's about it would be an hour or so turnaround depending on traffic and uh the piece was already 90 bucks so by the time i did that it would have been too much time invested I, sometimes you just got to get stuff when you can get it or else it's not a good deal anymore i feel like you might have filmed that for theatrics because no, I, I never like even that. saw it well, see, you weren't looking at the big furniture. You didn't have big furniture on your brain. <laughs> I, I, you're right. I didn't have big furniture on my brain. And Zeb is quite the decorator. Everybody's really impressed with that. <laughs> Ange says what? She's super disappointed. Sometimes, Ange, you got to just live for well, another he's, day. The we trouble is, this is the problem. We did pick up this piece here today. I actually literally picked it up. But I still have this piece, this waterfall armoire that I have not fixed yet. And we kind of have a rule these days. 
I can't get more new things until I finish things. And there's another dresser behind it. Yeah, there's still the red dresser that we picked up a while back that's behind it. And there might be a few pieces in the basement that nobody's talking about. So we have like three pieces back here. We did sell the lemon bar stools today. So we will be able to rearrange the store and fit in another piece or two because those sold. So that's kind of how we work it. So probably Monday, Tuesday, we'll work another dresser and probably that hall tree done, get that done and get that rotated into the shop. We need to go find some big flowers or something to put in this one. Um, look at the size difference. This was $2 and this was $2 at a different thrift store, but there was only one of them. I feel like they have like a cheat sheet, like all buckets with handles, two bucks. Yeah, probably. From this size to this size. So as long as they're anywhere in there, because I mean, it was the same chain of thrift stores. They get like a lot of random stuff and people are pricing it and they don't really know exactly what it should be, so they're just doing their best. Look at this. This is one of those. This is our we like it, but it's gross offering of the week. <laughs> it lived in somebody's kitchen. I'm not going to call it gross because I'm pretty sure if you got any of the decor that I have on top of my kitchen cabinets, it'd be just as greasy and dusty. Uh, maybe. Everybody is talking about my... Uh, bun on top of my head. Yeah, we got the we moved this over to a different They're just hair. talking about how big it is. I do have a lot of hair But I also take my bun and I fan it out like that And the reason why it's on top of my head is do you see these little hairs sticking up? Those are my bangs growing out and oh now it's gonna really stick straight up And so I have to put my ponytail right here so that way my bangs go back. So there you go So this probably had a lid at one point um, but we didn't find it with a lid and that's okay. It'll go up with all of Jamie's, uh, <laughs> what is it? Stoneware that's up there? Not Crocs. stoneware. Crocs? No. What's all that white stuff that you've got on the shelves? With Iron this? stone? Iron stone. You were close. I had the stone. I'm like, I... I, had I was like, what are you talking about? It. Yeah, it looks like iron stone. I wouldn't say that it is. No, but it's we're going to put an IOD transfer on it like we did the last time. We've got the crockery ones and the ephem ephem ephemera. Ephemera. I can never say that. And I like to put the labels on there. And the last one actually sold before it even made the floor. So that's what I'm doing with that one. And then Zeb, this is Zeb's pick. He loves all the fancy schmancy stuff. And I give you a lot of guff about it. But it sells. That thing I picked last week that was all fancy. Today, so gone. I picked something last week and he picked something last week that was really fancy and I his sold and mine didn't. So these were five dollars a piece. This one's kind of like an urn. It's open, but it matches with these two candlesticks here, which is what I was drawn to. I would call this a vase. Vase. Because it's not a lid. Oh yeah, you know, whatever. An urn is where you put your grandma, a vase is where you put your flowers. Check it out, it's a huge lid. I'm not gonna let you decorate it anymore. I'm gonna glue that together. I like that. <laughs> That's big. It's not happening, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, I say that it's not happening, but I'm not the boss of you. So we paid $5 each for these, and they'll probably sell for about, you know, $16.95, $14.95, $14.95. We might mark them individually. We might mark them as a set. Some, I, what will happen is we'll mark them individually, and someone will come in and buy them mm -hmm. all together. But don't forget to take the price tags off, because today somebody came in, and the DI price was on the bottom, and... They only wound up buying one. So this was originally $19.99. This one was $29.99. $29.99. And the, the other big one was $29.99. Yeah. So, you know, for five bucks a piece, and then we're going to sell them for half of what they had on retail after we paint them. So I thought it was a good deal. Keep everybody Yeah, winning. somebody somebody came in today, and we normally those we paint like prairie gray, and then we do a white wax, or we do um, old school with a white wax because it gives it a stone look. But somebody came in today for the ones that we painted last week, and they're like, "I ah, it's three and four dollars, but the price tag says like fourteen ninety five. And she's like, oh, those are the thrift store price tags. She's like, sorry, I got a text. I was like, sorry, Lauren, just tell her like we it's not what they look like when we got them. And somebody forgot to take the price tag off. The lady was really nice about it. Yeah. The lesson the lesson here is take your price tags off your items. Oh, a super chat from Sally. Oh, she, she says she hair. loves my hair. <laughs> I will do my hair like this every week for a super chat. Actually, what it is is I also <laughs> she have She can I have <laughs> I haven't washed it in a few weeks and it's a little a few weeks. A few weeks? What? A few days. Two days to be exact. Tonight uh, is 48 else. hours. It's a little greasy. So it's true. So the little hobnail dishes for your custard or whatever, I'm not sure, your little ice cream cup. Zeb told me not to buy them. I already got an email on them. She hasn't claimed them officially yet, but 
Um, they're 75 cents is what we paid for them. I'm they sell they do set. need a good scrub and they look yeah. like they've been in someone's garage. They will get a good scrubbing and we will sell them for $12.95 for the set of six. So essentially just more than doubling our money on them. But I like to sell them as a set because selling them individually I feel like is a little bit. Yeah, no one's going to need just one of those. I mean, if you're going to have a party, you need six ice cream hot novels. So these are marked $2 a piece. The gal at the register was like, that has to be for the set. Um, so we got them for two dollars, so a dollar each, and we'll just we'll leave these as is. We'll give them a little dusting, um, but they are small. Caitlin says she fixed my problem. Thank you, Caitlin. The problem was I couldn't get a shipping label to print. Somebody had ordered something out of the retail store, and I was boxing it before our live. And I was I get really frustrated when electronics don't work. So I'm like, Caitlin, I need your help. All right. So what was that? Two dollars. Keeping us on task. Two dollars, and what do you sell these for as the set? Oh, I'll probably sell them individually. Okay. For five ninety five a piece. They hold tiny little but taper candles, I'm guessing. Yeah, they weren't two dollars each. They were two dollars for the pair. So yeah. Five ninety five each is still a really good profit margin, and they're really cute. And where are you gonna get those? The little maid, baby Lumiere's, like from Beauty and the Beast. So this is just white glass, and it was a dollar. These vases we sell them for what, like four, five? Four or five bucks. I can't remember. Something like that. But there's a lot this style, so we have like six or seven of them all the time. Usually somebody comes in that's doing a wedding and they'll just like buy everything that we have. That's yeah. generally what happens. I have a little area that they go when the area gets full and I stop buying them. Although the other day I knocked over half of them and broke them, so I've been replenishing my milk glass stash. So this is, I'm guessing, tin. Um, it's heavy. Jamie and I saw this on the cart and we didn't... We both like went for it at the same time. I'm like, oh, that's way fancier than I would ever go for, but it will look cool in the shop. So it's like a it's mixed metal. So this is like silver, gold, and then this part here is rose gold. I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to leave it like that. Like somebody with a fancy home is going to come in and be like, I got to have that. You know, it would look like, I think it would look really great on a, as a centerpiece on a table, like a seasonal, like maybe yeah, Thanksgiving. Or a bridal or, shower. Or even Christmas time. When you have your boys over to play video games and you have a nice spread of uh, hors d'oeuvres, you could put this out. Yeah. That <laughs> hasn't happened since I was 22. Is this true? <laughs> um, it was $5. We'll sell it for 20 I feel like $20 is a good deal for that. Wyatt and Aaron, cool. if you're watching this. Still get the game and going. I don't feel like your boys watch your <laughs> They do not watch Jacob this. Jacob watches it sometimes. My friend Jacob does, but he's at a con tonight. He's off helping someone with some cosplay. But Jacob's like a little brother because he's in his 20s. He's, uh, he's a good friend. He watches the channel all the time. He's a great supporter. All right. What is that? This is what Jamie would call an apron hanger because it's all she ever uses it for. She throws this up somewhere in the kitchen and hangs aprons on it. And it's pink. So I'll probably just leave it the way that it is. It came from Hobby Lobby. Um, it originally was here pulled up back. It was originally $10. We paid two. Are so we going to leave it pink? Yeah, I like the pink. Do you don't like the pink? Sure. I love the pink. I know pink's your favorite color. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm going to leave it pink for right now. If it doesn't sell, then by summer we'll give it a new color, but it's good for spring. It was two bucks. We're going to sell it for five bucks and that's still cheaper than what it was selling for before so winning all right um terry says that it's cute she likes the pink and laura says she loves the bling candelabra and jessica says it matches french country i feel like it does too because it's so like fancy so this has a weird plexiglass sleeve i imagine it had a piece of cardboard or something in there at some time um, we'll paint this. It's got a little split. I'll leave the split because, you know, it just lends to making it feel like it's older. I don't think I'll leave it yellow. We might put the lamb printable that we had, but usually do one at a time. Um, if you're a channel member, the lamb printable sold. You can still get that if you want to be a channel member. And we'll do, I'll probably paint this. I think you might this. be confusing them. As a channel member, you get printables. Yeah. And we printed one out and that printable sold. Like there you, you don't go. sell the printables, they're part of your membership. Yeah, you can print off a hundred <laughs> of your own that, that we designed. What we're saying is if you're a channel member, you should print them off because yeah. we just took a frame and painted it and then we sold it for $11 because it had a picture of a lamb in it. it I don't know cute. if I could have said that any more. It was the most difficult way I could have said that. I think so. I was like, <laughs> I'm confused. I'm pretty sure they're confused. So if you're a channel member, make sure you're hitting up the community tab and scroll back and you will see last month's two printables. One was a postcard. 
and that you get four postcards and a print and then the other one was a lamb so and we actually in case you're wondering and you are a channel member we have sold i think four of zeb's stamped postcards that he did this week so i feel like that's yeah. pretty good two dollars a piece yeah you know every little bit just adds up okay well considering it cost me maybe a quarter to make them um also just so you know salt and pepper shaker your boy eric bowden is watching yeah that's, that's, what's up eric <laughs> that's don's husband <laughs> I don't know if he's watching willingly, but he's watching. All right, this, this is a Zeb find. I think they look like mushrooms. Just throwing that out there. They do look a little bit like mushrooms, but I think painted in julep, like we like to do. Julep is really bright. We haven't used that in a while. But we did the last Summer set cottage. were tall. We didn't paint them julep. Did you have the tall ones we We did? mixed it with white something. Did we? Mm-hmm. Maybe. And they weren't super bright. Either way, they will look better, not wood. They'll look less uh, foresty. Lynn wants to know how you clean mold off of baskets, bleach, and a brush. And if that doesn't work, you're out of work. Another salt and pepper shaker. This one's got the S&P stamped in the glazing. And they look great. We love them. Perfect colors. Uh, oh, I don't well, even know. Are, I, these were 75 cents each. And those will sell for like $12.95 for the set usually. These are $12.95 um, These are $9.95 for these. We're not doing anything to them, but they match the... They do they, need a little scrubbing down the holes. Yeah. The false graph set that I collect in here in the shop, nobody really buys it much, but I like it. So maybe someday it'll just come live at my house. But anyways, <laughs> that's where those match. And um, we'll just throw them... In. Oh, where's the plug? That had the plug I asked you if, you if it had the plug and it's missing. I We've was just lost noticing that. the plug. That's They're okay. Working. I have another one in a rogue salt shaker over there. But so would it be the same size? I'll make it work. <laughs> All right. Here's the cookie jar that we found. This is not old, but it's really cute. It was, what was it, like $1.50 or something? Um, $3. Oh, it's the false crack Yorktown pattern, is what Sandra said. Yeah. Which, that is Oh, on the salt and pepper shakers, yeah. yeah. Um, $3 for the cookie jar. We'll probably sell it for $9.95. And we won't put anything on this. We like to leave these blanks so that people can customize them themselves. Very rarely we'll put something on here, but usually yeah. we'll just leave it like that. Does it have a price tag on the bottom of what it originally cost? Um, original cost, no. no. But it came from Target originally. So yeah. probably from Target with like 12 or 14 and we're going to sell it for 10 So It's just going to be one of those found fun items that we put with the rest of the glassware on the shelf. Yep. This will not be going on the shelf. The this toilet is, mug? Jamie couldn't stop laughing when she found this. She had to have it, and it was like topic of the conversation the rest of thrifting. I, it's a toilet mug. It's awesome. It's from the Honey Bucket. I which, don't know if you guys if you know guys... this, but Jamie, she, her, uh, her friend uh, Christmas party that we go to with all of the people that we know, they, uh, they have a huge, uh, what is it? Uh, white white elephant. elephant. I was like looking for that. Should the whole I give you some sugar on. before we went live? Maybe I did have a. I did some dozing before we came on live. And dozing. I think you were sleeping it. for two hours. It was not two hours. It was two hours. Didn't even Anyways, know this is for that my white elephant hours. gift, and it was a dollar. And I just like to hoard stuff, and then when it gets to be the white elephant party, I pick the best thing and I bring it because it's hilarious it's my favorite thing last year we got to um host the party so it's fun and story oh that's hilarious she said put pudding in it oh gross <laughs> i'm gonna just put like a pudding cup in it and then wrap it up and then they can dump the pudding in there if they get it <laughs> all right this was a dollar fifty and it's i don't even know it's metal of some sort but it's cast so it's cute it's it might it might be pewter but i don't think it is but a little soap dish these usually don't last long, you know. No, everybody... soap dishes sell really fast, and what a dollar fifty, so it's probably like five ninety five. Yeah. We have some really cute chippy blue enamel ones; those are selling a ton. Of course, we got these for two dollars a piece, and they're cast iron. These knobs from the uh, south. Man, I can't talk good or think good right now. What do you need me to help you with? <laughs> Habitat for Humanity. The Restore is where we got these, and they had a bunch of different ones. These ones were our favorites, and they had seven. We probably usually only need six for like a three-door drawer dresser, but they'll be cool on some dresser that we upcycle. Well, we actually have some drawers in the hallway that need pulled before Ivy disowns you. Oh. Because we have these huge drawers that we put extra paint in for the shop, and they're really hard to open because they don't have pools on them, so maybe they'll go there. All right. This candlestick was $4. 
And I think I've been banned from buying candlesticks for a while, much like I had a clock issue. You're not banned from them. We just have a lot of candlesticks in the shop, and when some of them start selling, then you can start buying them. The original sticker price on this was $28. I actually then like, I got it for four at the thrift store. I actually like the finish on it, like yeah, as yeah. if you had a set, but because we don't have a set, we'll probably paint the top and the bottom a different color to yeah. match other candlesticks to kind of make it look like a found set. I'll, I'll tape this off one of the rare times I tape something. <laughs> um, I probably should not talk about toilet mugs because everybody's in the chat. It's getting real interesting. Oh, no. I won't let Zeb see. Keep it PG, guys. No, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jessica says the funny thing is her husband's name is George too. Like, is George his real name or you just call him George? <laughs> my little boys were arguing over who was the original George, and I had to break it down to them that my dad was the original George. It wasn't because they were each telling each other, well, I'm George. No, I'm George. I'm like, no, really, Jack, Grandpa Jack's George. All right, so let's show them the next Some more one. fun containers. These glass containers seem to go pretty quickly with the fun lids. Um, real popular right now and these are already our perfect style of rusty and they've got real thick bottoms I think that's what made Jamie buy them. She likes them when the glass has a thick bottom And they were dollar fifty each. What are these gonna go for six bucks five ninety five? Yeah Sure, or four ninety five. I like the really thick bottoms though. That's I cool. Just, I just got done. I know. I'm just. That. I just noticed it. <laughs> um, and Denise Parks has uh, caught you because she's wondering what's under the toolbox. Now, here's the funny thing the that somebody that follows us. I don't know her name, but we see her often at the thrift store. She's blonde. That's all, all I can remember. She's like, "Oh, you're starting to let Zeb buy clocks again." I was like, oh, we can't go anywhere without people knowing. <laughs> but Zeb did finish two clocks this week, so I let him buy one. So that's the new rule. Every time you finish two clocks, you can buy one clock. And eventually they'll all get done. Well, this one's a little broken, but I this is actually one I want to do my idea on the most. Oh, more, more than the ones that we did that were hanging here the other night. Jessica's husband's really, his name really is George. Nice. All right. So just a little toolbox someone carved. Willie loves grandma or Miles. It's backwards. Miles loves GM, I'm assuming grandma. Well, apparently grandma um, didn't love it because Well, it's been carved up and maybe not ever finished. Maybe grandma never got this. It's true, but I like the big chunky handle. Yeah. Like sometimes they got cheesy handles, but this one has got like thick it's like wood. Curtain rod thick. And this this is like nice and thick. It's not plywood, so yeah, like so this, this was $3, and in our shop, painted up, it'll probably be around 15 somewhere in there, fourteen ninety-five. Stacy calls her boys Charlie, and that's not their name either. <laughs> 10.22. Oh, they're, how, they're counting how many people are on here. I was like, 9.99, 10.22, I was super confused. All right. And the last item... This isn't the last item. I got a bunch of stuff up front. Oh, we got a we, we hit five stores. There was a lot of thrifting. This is true. So so this clock is really well. I, I don't know. I like the shape on it. I like how thick it is. Check out how thick that is. It's like something you'd see in like a train station or something. However, the back on it is terrible. Let me show you why. Let's see if the camera will pick this up without blinding you with reflections. It's all pixelated. It's not really clear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint over this and I'm gonna use the IOD knob topper stamps to put where the numbers are and do a different stamp on each number. And that's gonna be, it's not gonna actually have numbers. Cause you know how you see like those wristwatches sometimes and they'll just have the little diamond or the, the dot up there that's like the, for the 12 and then they have nothing else. You don't need that on there. It's just gonna be for fun. How do I come up with my prices? Oh, this is um, only $5. It depends on what things are worth and what they sell for. So it's not like an exact formula. I like to make like at least double my money, but a lot of times you make three times and four times your money, depending on how much you do to it. But you can't always get the same profit margin on every item because it just depends on how much you thrift it for. So yeah. it's like a varying scale. So I got to the checkout line and realized that this had a crack, and that's probably why this was only $5, because it probably normally would have been like 10 it, to 12 so I feel like we could paint it. It'll yeah, it's already been glued. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some putty or even maybe some more glue and fill in the cracks, and once it's painted, you won't even notice. It'll be awesome. Ooh, Esther Lopez, Super Chat. 
have learned a lot from watching your channel. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Denise says that you needed an invention. The funny thing is, I'll talk to you while Zeb's getting the other items. While we, while he picks this clock, he's like negotiating with me, like trying to convince me that I need to let him buy this clock. In reality, I'm like, it's five dollars. It doesn't, you know, it's not the end of the world. But he's like negotiating. This gal is like dying laughing as she's turning the corner because she's watching this whole thing go down. And Zeb's like, I'm gonna do this to the clock, and it's gonna be awesome. And I have this idea. I'm like, Zeb, if you want the clock, you can buy the clock. It's while totally I'm up cool. here, I'll show you the the three dollar frame of the week. You see all the detail on there? Les says not to change the clock face, but I hate to tell you, Les, it's getting changed. It's all pixelated. Like It, does, it might look good on your end, but in reality, it looks really cheap. The clock face is just like a poor print. Look how big this is. Okay, look. It's huge. It's like me plus Seb, and we could fit one more person's head right here. Yeah. Yeah, I so love that. We'll probably paint this. It was $3. We'll just paint it and leave it without anything in it. It doesn't She says okay. Art. <laughs> Stacy can't believe that frame was three dollars and then somebody asked if we already showed the viewers Diana we did in the beginning of the video so when you watch the replay just go all the way back to the beginning and you'll see those all right next so originally I got this book because a I like the content the joy of cooking turns out this is a very popular cookbook and this one's in, like forty five dollars I did I I, I I um I did research that and that is correct. I don't know that we'll sell it for that much. We usually sell books for about five to ten dollars. So maybe like nineteen ninety nine. This one was two dollars at the thrift store. It's in good shape. I thumbed through it and it doesn't look like there's any like food or grease or splotchiness. Sometimes that's cookbooks are bad like that and you don't want to resell them like that. Um, but I love the art in this. Yeah, it was two bucks, and it will probably sell for between twenty and twenty-five. It's worth forty-five on the eBay Etsy situation. It's worth about half that here. They give you the visual aids, and usually, like Jamie was saying in the video from yesterday, pointers to success. There's uh, the dedication, the forward and guide, and then they tell you like how to, be a how to get wife. prepped. And, and I don't know. I didn't read. <laughs> it through. always just stacks me up. I didn't read through to see if that book had it in there. We also, we were actually just going for colors with yeah, these ones. So we were going for spring colors. That was actually Zeb's idea. I love that you're always there, you know, thinking about the spring colors. Hey, seasons are important. Lots of people have this book from their mom, their mother-in-law, their grandma. Um, and I would keep it except for, to be honest, I cook mostly from memory when I do cook or I use the family cookbook or the Google. So. I, and I'm kind of a, I shouldn't say I'm a minimalist, but I kind of am. Like the thing that, the things that other people will like collect a lot of them, if it's not something I use. Well, that didn't work out. If it's not something I use, I don't normally keep it. Nothing was harmed in the falling of the books. I was just trying to show you guys close. How much will I price the $3 frame? It'll probably be between $30 and $40. That's one of those things like... Got to paint it up. We only paid three dollars for it, but in the in the market, it's worth thirty or forty. Or there's these corbels that we paid three dollars each, and we'll probably only sell them for like so. We paid six bucks total, and we'll only sell them for like fourteen ninety five after we paint them. So not as much markup on these. These are more these. bookends. They're very heavy. Yeah. So not as much markup on the corbel bookends, but more of a markup on the frame. It just kind of depends. Like in in picking, it's more about the average. You know, like what you make across the board. So I got this little art mannequin because I thought it would be fun to actually paint the art mannequin. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Pretty Maybe sure it's not from today. Ikea because I've seen them. It is from Ikea. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. This one was $1.50. And I'm going to paint it and see what happens with it. But, you know, it's one of those things. Every now and then I'll do something weird and Jamie will be like, eh. It's all right. It usually like, sounds. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Eh. You did that with your eyes earlier today. I can't, I can't do that with my eyes right now. <laughs> so this probably will, I'm going to paint it. It'll probably be like six, seven dollars painted. It was probably like 10 from Ikea or maybe seven Oil the or joints. something. Oil the joints. Yeah. What is the year published on the cookbook? They want to know. What oh. Edition? Yeah, don't worry. Kate, I think it's a 1962 home. edition is when I was looking at it, but let me look. Kaylin works hard every Saturday night because I can't, I can't get on. Here, while I'm looking, tell him about your... Zeb, it tickles him how things gross him out like the toilet mug. It's not like it actually grosses him out. I, again, you know how I was talking about the other day about how like his, his mom raised him to have like a telephone voice. And so it's kind of like his, 
his video voice. Well, the same thing applies to like things that might be off color. Zeb is really worried about doing things that may not be perceived as kosher. Very proper. And so he's very proper. So he doesn't like to talk about poop on camera. But after five kids, I'll talk about it all day long. Yeah, no reservations. Mm -hmm. And after this video, he'll be like, Jamie. I'm going to make her start plunging all the toilets and we'll see how much she talks about I it. I plunge them all the time. No, she doesn't. She will let them let's sit there until I get home. Baking. Well, let's see who's nervous about it now. I'm not nervous. What does it say though? So original copyright on this is 1931, and this is the January 1967 edition. I like it. Jen says she's very proper, but then she puts some smiling, laughing faces, and I think maybe not so much. Jen's probably my homegirl. Did you tell him about this while I was looking at that? Or were we just talking about things we Luke should Cotton do? says she can barely hear us. You better turn the volume up. Because you're very close to the camera. If you talk any louder, then there's the people that are listening with their earbuds and they're like, stop yelling at me. <laughs> All right, so we got this. This was out in the yard and this has been glued on. The handle is all goobered up with hot glue. Hot glue is not how you repair furniture. I don't know if anybody has told that, but told you guys that, but like, I feel like it's my job as a PSA to say, please do not use hot glue to repair furniture. You know what else we didn't know? Look at that, this is a music box. I'm gonna what? see if I can find something to turn it with. It oh, doesn't have its that. knob back here, but we're gonna take the face of this off and just leave the drawers open because this is all dented up and dinged and the grate is gross. It's not good. Yeah, it looks cool, but I closed it's not good. But I just, I opened it, like, I like the shape, but when I opened it, I was like, Zeb, what if we just take this off because it's broke? It's like cracked right here and it's got the knob all glued on and this is all wavy and broken. I thought if we take this off and we just take the little clicker do off of here, then it would be cute to just have little drawers. And little drawers always sell really well. So this cost, what, $3? Three bucks. And I'll sell it for easily $20 to $22 for this piece. Wait, I gotta see if I can. Les says, what does the troll say? Cheek, 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 cheek. Is it like, what does the fox say? What does the fox say? Um, only cute people with kids would know what that fox means. There's a video going around with the fox. Uh, some people think you can use hot glue on everything just like duct tape. There's actually, a, there's actually a use for hot glue and duct tape, and I use them often, just not in repairing furniture. All right, so it does not look like the work. music box is working. Well, darn. Well, maybe, I, maybe I round, wound it the wrong way. Well, that's, that's possible. We'll mess with it later and Catherine see. Catherine wants to know if we still have the old IOD. Catherine, we still still have quite a few of the first generation IOD from back before they went on their own. Um, Caitlin, can, if she has a second, we'll drop the link in the comments below. But if you go to our website, we actually have on our menu, we actually have them all grouped together with the first generation and all the retired IOD transfers that are left. So, Okay, we're going flying. So this is... I want to say a hall tree. It's like one of those things where you hang some stuff on and you're headed out the door. You keep your keys and your purse or whatever down here. Um, little shelf on the bottom for whatever basket of shoes. I don't know. But got the mirror in it so you can see what you look like before you run out the door. And it's awesome. It was $15. Look at the dental molding on that. Uh, it's I, got and some it's cool features. Wood. There's a little bit of knot wood just like behind in certain areas. But most of it is wood, which I love. It, sometimes you get these, they're all particle board, but this one is really well made. For $15, we're probably gonna sell it every bit of $125, and it won't take much to repaint. And they normally don't last. Like most of the time when I do haul trees, they generally sell within the first week of putting them on the floor. So, <laughs> Shelby said the pre previous homeowner of her house installed all of the quarter round with hot glue. What? No. <laughs> Uh, when I saw that hall tree, I literally, like, we were done shopping at that point. And so I, like, bear hugged the hall tree because I didn't want to wait for them to write me a tag. And I hauled it about halfway out the store. And then we met up with, okay, you wrote their names down. Who was it that we met up with? Did you text I, I me? I texted it to you. 
Um, you did text me because you did not want to forget. I rem that? I'm remembering, but I don't know. Oh, uh, Tony and Philip. We met up yeah. with Tony and Philip. They were all the way from Alabama, and they came to our shop. And then this morning, they met us at DI because they knew we would be there. And so I didn't realize they were there. And I'm like hauling this giant hall tree, and I'm like, oh hey, they had already stopped up and got to talk to them. That was really really fun today. All right. Um, let's see. I'm finding paint. So oh, that's finding paint. That's why he's off camera. And I'm, oh, Delia is trying to buy Sonic DoorDash. I just got a notification. I will talk to her about that later. All right, let's pull up comments again. Sorry, guys. Zeb's grabbing paint. What paint are you grabbing, Zeb? Um, some bright spring colors. Some bright, what are you painting? I'm going to paint, well, you're going to paint the turtle, aren't you? I am going to paint the turtle. I think I'm going to paint my mannequin this and i'll paint the turtle mint because it's green right all right this is really close to the julep color okay. in the farmhouse finishes this is a mix of paint tell them what you mix that with so this is 50 50 mint chip to white swan and i, gotta, I need a, i need a screwdriver here we'll just use the back end of these white scripts you got it and then paintbrush. I have some various selections. I've got a really big one. Okay, let me go grab you a medium size. And okay. There's a French tip so you can do Thank details. Thank you. Well, that's good. Hold on. All right, here's a number eight. All right. Why do I keep pulling up the wrong thing on here? I'm just trying to pull up the comments. Got it. Okay, so we're going to paint the turtle here. Do we have... Did you just break something? Never. I never break things. There's like 452 thrift store stickers because I always put them on this side. Um, <laughs> they're not really 452, but I stick them to this side of the table. One day somebody's going to be like, wow, that table has a lot of stickers. I just want to make sure they're all off. Oh, see, they hide them everywhere. There's another one down here and another one down here. I think they have a roll, like you have to stick or something five times. When you're sliding that, try not to drag it on the table because it's ridiculously loud. Um, let's see. The trolls are taunting Caitlin. Um, Caitlin says they need new accounts so they don't get deleted, lol. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see. Stacy says she got here late and missed the turtle. Alright, so this turtle was $8. I don't know what I'm going to sell it for, but I am going to start painting it. Seb, you're still over there looking for paint? I got various projects I'm going to try to get to. You have very How long have we been live? Do we have a lot of time? I said I 15. You have 15 minutes. 15 minutes? That's not a lot of time. So, what did somebody say? What color would be close to navy? In DIY paint, hay sailor. Oh, I forgot to show them the chairs. In milk paint, it would be navy blues. Oh, Zeb will show you some chairs. We picked up four chairs, too. And if you're new to our channel, I'm using DIY paint, which prints pretty much everything and it's clay based and it's really pigmented so it covers really really well this is going to be a little bit streaky in the first coat but that's because there's like this really shiny finish on it and if you want to buy the products that we use you can just pick them up at jamierayvintage.com and we actually have tons we have hundreds and hundreds of diy products that you can only pick up from authorized retailers all right so we got four of these chairs if you watch the video you already know about them um we bought four of them and it came with a table we redonated the table because it's a little round table and people have big families up here we are not an anomaly with five children it's pretty normal they just don't up here sell as well in our <laughs> area so it's not really worth the effort to refinish them so the so we just wanted the chairs and so at 35 dollars for four chairs pretty good deal usually we'll pay about 10 dollars to 15 dollars a chair for something like this yeah, and they are just really well, rather sturdy, not needing a lot of repair, and I really like the design They do on need them. some gluing. They do need some gluing, as yep. I said. And I'm thinking I'll probably paint them some fun colors because now that the weather's getting a little bit better, we like to paint chairs and then put them out front. kind of draws people's eye over to the shop, and they usually will sell pretty good once they're out there and painted. So. All right, I'm doing the mannequin. Okay. Still want Zeb to open the bottom drawer of the music box. I don't know why they want you to do that. Oh. Am I going to white wax the turtle? Yeah, you know I am. The I, I mean, I might look into it. The bottom drawer is... I, I don't know what they want I can show you. 
the, the music box mechanism is back behind there. Oh, there it goes. It opens when you do that. Ah, <laughs> someone knew. That's what turns it That's on. That's why you always listen to your subscribers. I always tell you guys that you think we do this to show stuff to you, but really it's because I need help with my finds. Let's be honest, I don't collect music boxes. Yeah, you guys know way, <laughs> our combined knowledge with everybody that's on here is way more than what we got in our brain. Thank you, that's awesome. I love that. All right, let's see. How do I get the JRV emoji? Seb, how do you pull those up? She is a channel member. Um, so there's like there's like the chat, and then there's like the little smiley face next to the chat if you hold your device vertically. Um, or if you're on a computer, it'll be up over on the side of your screen if you're in, not in full screen mode. And the little smiley face down there on the chat, you click that and you get all the emojis. I need to add some more. We can oh, have like 30 of them. Yeah, no, it's not like you're busy. I know. Whoa. When you're not working at the farmhouse, we're getting antsy. About getting it finished. We're working on working over there we're getting our lumber supply list together for framing because it's been taking a little while to get the foundation work done, but they are moving along. They're doing good. They're doing good. They're getting they're, it done. They're, we have an old school superintendent that's kind of heading the job. I up. He's retired from Provo School District and I don't know if he's a superintendent, but he used to do a lot of like landscaping and maintenance for Alpine School District and worked down in Provo a lot. And he's been kind of quality control on this job and he has lots of questions for me just to make sure it's just how I want it. Even though the plans sometimes say something, he's like, are you sure you want it like that? <laughs> I'm like, well, we need to do it like the plans say because oh, that's what got him approved. Um, so, Stacy said that music boxes are going to be the new clocks for Zeb. We actually don't find a lot of music boxes as much as clocks. So, but you know, it's funny when we start, when, you, when we're starting to look for something, I almost feel like we find it. You it's, know? it's kind of like when you, when you like buy a new car and suddenly you realize that everybody else also has that car and you never saw them before. I have noticed that. We bought an expedition and now I'm seeing expeditions everywhere. I've always yeah. driven If you noticed suburban. in the video, we the Suburban's gone, we traded it in because I got an oil change and they got me. I was, like, <laughs> I was getting an oil change on the truck and I was just kind of wandering around the dealership and uh, they, had, they had rebates going on 2019's like eight, $9,000 off on some vehicles. And then they offered me a ridiculous amount of trade-in on the Suburban. Um, and then we, we like said no, and then it got to be towards the end of the month, and they just kept making the deal sweeter and sweeter. And I kept telling Deb, like, I'm fine. Like, I'll just drive this car for the next 20 years. I'm good. I really don't like buying cars. I'm like, well, let's just see what they can do for the deal. And they made it work, so we and, traded the Suburban in. So really, Zeb bought it. It wasn't me. I did not go looking for it. Zeb actually brought it to the shop. I wasn't even with They him. let me drive it. They're like, here, just sign. It's just like, it'll be here, like a rental boy, car. You want some candy? It'll be like a rental car. Are just go there? drive it so your wife doesn't have to come down here. So I drove it over to the shop from the dealership because Jamie like, was over here working. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not a car person. She loves it. I do like it. It is nice. Necessary? No. Nice? It's cool. And I think Zeb likes it because he did not. I was always taking his truck because it was nicer than the Suburban. So now I'm like, meh, my car's nicer than yours, so I'll drive it. <laughs> All right, the only problem is that now because they're both Fords, the keys look exactly the same. I can, and I'm always pushing the buttons on the wrong keys. Carts and Millie said they saw them coming. They did. They he, did. Well, he has bought it was more the things, same. and I'm like, why did, what did you come home with? It was the same salesperson that sold me the truck, and he saw me coming on that one, too. Old Jake down at American Fork Ford, you need a good deal, go see Jake. There's an unsolicited, there's an unsolicited plug for Jake, Jake Thompson. Or if you don't need a good deal, but you're, you know. No, he's giving us a good deal on both. No, like if you don't really need a car, but oh. you just go down there, you might come home with one. <laughs> yeah. Sanders says, I'll love the exhibition. I do. It's great. I should, I actually feel very blessed to drive it. I'm just not one of those people who have to have like all the things, you know? I'm, the older I get, the less stuff I actually need. So this is Salty Kiss that the mannequin's going in. Nice, fun spring color. I probably maybe should have done like a pink or something, though. Vintage Vibes had a pet turtle when she was, was little, and she named it Toddy. Toddy. I like that. Sarah Lynn just got a new car. Caitlin said they need a new car. That is a true story, yo. 
When I was your age and a young married, I remember many of the cars. Remember that Cadillac Catera? Oh, the Catera. I thought... It might oh, be the God. worst car we ever bought. I think I bought it without you. You did. And I... Well, I used to buy... It's weird how the tables have turned. Up until recently, Zeb worked so much, I bought all the cars. I was always it. working at the tire shop, and she'd be like, I'm done. I'm going to get a new car. This one's not working. So I bought this Cadillac <laughs> Catera, and I thought it was the bomb.com. It was the bomb. Like that thing was a piece of junk. It was leaking everywhere and it was just a it's always overheating. <laughs> but we drove that thing for quite a while and like gimped it along and put fluids in it and rolled down the well one window didn't even roll down. You know when you go to get like go to the drive through to get food and you gotta open the door instead of rolling the window down. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> More than once. All right, let's see. They said not the legs. Yeah, the legs, the whole thing's getting painted. Not the legs on the like mannequin. To have so like what I'm gonna do is once this dries, I'm gonna move this all around so it doesn't like get glued shut by the paint. Oh, I don't think they're talking about those. I think they're talking oh. about the turtle legs. Oh, the turtle legs? Oh yeah, it's all one one color. I mean, no that. turtle is actually mint chip, anyways. Yeah, it's basically yard art now. <laughs> Denise says, I know you're doing those projects for your shop, but if you just step back for a second, I see a couple crafting together. Zeb and I have actually crafted together for many years, even before we did it for a living. Many, yeah. many Christmas seasons when we made stuff for the kids, or I came up with an idea for decor, or I really needed something for the house, but we couldn't afford it. Or she it. wanted the whole carpet out of the entire home, except for bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> so it's much faster at the DIY projects than he used to be. Remember, it took you like six months to do the flooring. I was working full-time and going to school. I know. I was working <laughs> full-time too. But I remember saying, well, just hire him. And you're like, no, I'll put it in. I'm too cheap to hire people to do stuff I can do. By the time we got it finished, and then I, I actually, he wound up leaving. He finished it. I tiled the bathrooms by myself with my dad telling me what to do and the laundry room and then we left it's like yeah, by the time the house gets put together it's time to go all right um, not with farmhouse we're gonna live there a long car, long car. time car talk i need help here who do i call thanks frida nancy if you live in utah we like ken garf we go there a lot um about like see. five cars from them over the years. Are there any tiny flowers or writing transfer scraps you could add to the mannequin to make it more springy? Oh, maybe. I never even thought about transfers. I'm gonna randomly paint this because it got painted. Or could there. you stencil it? Oh, you know what? That it's might be cool. I, I'm gonna go get the heat gun. We'll heat gun this salty kiss dry. All right, 925. All right, so you're just gonna have to picture this turtle with two coats of paint and some white wax. On camera, it probably looks pretty good. It's yeah. looking pretty bright under the lights. Yeah, it's really cute. It's much better than that drab brown color. It says the camera's out of focus. Mm, the camera doesn't lose focus, so you might need to hop in and hop back out. Your, your, your feed might be out of focus because it's a live stream. Let's see. To buy... Oh, Kayla put the email address. If there's anything that you see that you like, just go to Lehigh Shop at jamierayvintage.com. It's always in the description box and um, Caitlin just put it in comments. Um, and she, anyways, that's where you can email, let us know what you're interested in and what your mailing address is. Frida says, Nancy needs help ordering. Okay, then that would, she would need to email customer care at jamierayvintage.com. Caitlin will help her. Or if you go to our website, there's a phone number down on the bottom and you can text Caitlin. She's it's really leap year, whose birthday is today? Do we have any leap year birthdays? I'm just thinking about that. It's the 29th it is, of February. They, they say you can't get more time, but every four years you get an extra day. There you go. Stamp the mannequin with a kindness. Oh, a stamp. That might be easier than stenciling. Oh, I don't know if I can, because the kindness regards is like a big yeah. stamp. I might need like small little stamps, like the, uh, um. Those are all circular. What if I used... Decisions, decisions. I'm thinking stencil, like one of the flower stencils that has like smaller flowers. I don't even know how I could... It Not doesn't Shelby, really... Patty, Patty says to use the knob topper, but I'm thinking... I'm thinking knob topper myself. It doesn't have like any flat surface, really. I don't knob topper that thing up. 
I'm gonna. So the question is white or black? I say white. White ink? We'll try the white ink. I think black is It'll not. Too garish. It might not be springy enough. But and when we seal it, that green's gonna get darker, so then I'll make the white ink. And I'll just. I'll All right, we're gonna go with not too shabby Patty's idea and Zeb's idea. Do the knob topper stamps from IOD and the white ink. And I know I already said it, but if you need the stuff we're using or other DIY products, you can get those at jamierayvintage.com. We get asked that a lot because people try to find these products at their local craft or hardware store and they have to be authorized retailers. So generally you'll find them in boutiques or on our website. We're, I feel like we're missing half the knob toppers. It's because they're dirty from our last project. They're sitting over there in the water. <laughs> oh, did they not get washed this week? We didn't wash them. They might be. I'll go look real well, fast. Then, well, you could just use different ones, but yeah. the, but some of my favorites are missing. Yeah. Do you I, want me to go look? No, I can go look. Well, what am I gonna do? Um, I don't know. Paint this. All right. I have some whites. No, I'm gonna. I'll start stamping. How about that? That's fine. You're gonna let me stamp your thing? While you're gone, uh, you don't I like me touching your. You can always paint over it if I mess up. All right. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. There's something like 40 stamps on here. These are actually made to go on knobs. So you take wooden knobs and paint them and you use the flexi stamper and you go over the knob with them. But we like to use these little knob topper stamps on all kinds of little decor projects. So we're gonna, you guys wanna see what I'm doing? Let's see. Oh, that's not very good. All right, paint over it real quick and I'll come do it. Sorry, Zeb. <laughs> it's a little bit schmeary. Can you guys see that? Maybe he can fix it. That's bad. That's why he doesn't usually let me paint his projects. What you doing, Zeb? You I trying to find them? They're over here. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I thought Gene had washed them. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll just fix it. It's just paint. It's no big deal. All right, come over here and stamp something. The people are waiting. Just use these stamps. All right, there's I'll use the ones we got out already. I think there's a bunny. This is a bunny. That'll work. This is the one I just used. It did not turn out. Oh, you were way too juicy on that. Cart Simulator says, I'm so bad at stamping. I'm okay, but I'm not good, like, in front of people on live TV. Zeb is much better. They said, wrap the turtle. Wrap it in what? Wrap it like you a turtle wrap. Like my name is Turtle and I am green. If you like turtles, you know what I mean. You do this with me. Look at you flowing that out. All right. Um, Jamie, what's the color of the Woodman? The Woodman is Salty Kiss. I think the mannequin should go blue iris like the Blue Man Group. That's funny. Um, let's see. You just need patience. I don't know. Oh, for stamping. Don't Jamie's type to me in all letters and caps trying to get my attention because there's like 400 comments. It's kind of like when my kids are like, mom, mom, mom. I'm like, I will get to you. Or maybe <laughs> I won't. If I miss your comment and you need me to answer it and I don't, because it happens, especially when you're trying to do a project in life. Sometimes it's like... So there's 1,100 people yeah, on here right now. Yeah, a lot of people commenting. But I want to help you guys out. If you just can't, if there's something you need help with, you can always PM Jamie Ray Vintage on Facebook, and I answer those as I have time. Or you can email, if it's a product question, you can email customercare at jamierayvintage.com. So Disclaimer, we typically only answer comments about products we use, because if they're not products we use, we usually don't know the answer. Uh, Jen says, come on, 1,100 people, up your game. I know. Yeah, sometimes people will message us about products we don't carry or use, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not very good at guessing. Do you think that that's going to look good when it's all done? Like, randomly stamped with stamps? Shh. It'll be okay. Shell says, isn't it cool that 1,100 people like us? It's awesome. <laughs> like, it's crazy to think. I that think it's wild, to be honest with you. <laughs> Super chat. Um, uh, Jennifer says, I love you guys. I'm wondering if it's okay, which might be a little late to ask since I'm already doing it to use oil and white wax simultaneously. Um, you can use oil wax and use white wax over the top. If that's what you're asking. I don't know. Like 
Are you wanting to like oil wax and white wax all at the same time? I don't know that I'd do that, but you can oil wax something. And in case you guys are wondering, oil wax is a Sweet Pickens product and white wax from DIY is a DIY product. Both but furniture sealers. Both furniture sealers. But I would probably use the oil wax on or top paint and the sealers, white wax on top of that. They, they seal all kinds of things. Tank says, um, I've been watching your channel for weeks. I'm driving my husband nuts learning so much from you guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, in just a second, I'm going to show you guys kind of what I've been going. I'm just randomly stamping and just picking any and every one. You want to here. show them what you've done so far? Oh, sorry. You got to wait for the grand reveal. reveal. You got to keep them on the edge of their seat, you know? You could decoupage the green guy with floral napkins. Ooh, that sounds like a lot of work. Oh, more super <laughs> chat from Jessica. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> this um, is going to. This mannequin's gonna look like they've got weird random tattoos all over it. Yeah, I always put like regular wax last. And here's another pro tip. Somebody the other day was using, I think it was the dark oil wax and it got a little muddy looking. And one of the things that Zeb's done in the past is he's actually used the clear wax almost like an eraser. And then areas where he wanted to clean up the dark oil wax, he used the clear wax over the top of it and then buffed it. And you can sometimes pull that back a little bit. So sometimes that helps. Oh, super chat. Zeb, Patrick said he doesn't like crafting. Have a word to him for me. Oh, and she man. She gave us a super chat for that. So that I means I need like, to, like, personally message him. Maybe we should send, make, make a little... Tarn, Tarnia put me... She put me on the spot. She's like, here, do it. <laughs> oh, Jean Marie's on. Jean Marie Dalton, in case you're wondering. Um, Jean Marie works for us. And she usually is here during the day. And she's awesome. She does all the things. But, yeah, maybe we'll just make a little video for Tarnia. Be like, hey, Patrick, get with the most. Well, doesn't, but doesn't Patrick work like 60 hours a week? I might. I yeah. used to do that. That's a lot. Like away from home, it's a lot. Now, T-Shoppy Patty says that's the biggest super chat I've ever seen. Me too. That's a big one. Karen says, I adore Jean. It is true. Karen shops here a lot, so she knows Jean. Jean's a good egg. She also takes care of everybody. She's like, she checks in on me. She's a good little like mother hen. I always tell people that my shop is kind of like an extension of my home. So when people come in here, I want to like be very hospitable and have, you know, friendly vibes and all those kinds of things. And all the gals that work for me are super hospitable and I love that. Okay, so we're kind of out of time, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put more stamps on here, just kind of playing around with it. And I'll probably distress it to make them not look so stark on here. But you guys get the idea, you know, get your own mannequin and run wild with it. So, and that one, I'm probably going to move that one or distress most oh, of it off. Oh, super chat from Jennifer Pagnata Zussi. Um, thank you, thank you. So, Zeb, I'm thinking... White you, wax is going to... If you white wax over that, will you be able to see the stamps? And yeah, stuff? well, I'm going to distress it because you see here where some of the joints are. I'm not going to super paint those, but they'll show, so I'm going to bring some of the wood back. All right, so watch we, for watch for the uh, the completed picture of. You know, yeah, we'll put that on community and we'll put it in the shop and then we'll see if it sells. Although anytime I like say I'm not sure if that's gonna sell, it always sells, and I think it's because Zeb has a fan club. Maybe. <laughs> no, he's just really good at what he does. All right, you guys, um, do we still sell the French tip brushes? We do. They're by Paint Pixie. You can just look up Paint Pixie at JamieRayVintage.com and you can find them. Wait, you want us to run around wild with mannequins? I am confused by that comment, Stacy. So PM me. <laughs> I, well, I told him to run wild with the idea. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> listening. All right, now I get it. Maybe it's just getting uh, late night. All right, guys, I think I answered everything. Um, uh, there we go. All right, you guys. Thank you for joining us in our live. Sorry if we're a little slap happy. I think we both have had a long week and we're a little bit tired. That's normal. But we have so much fun with you guys. So thanks for joining us and making our Saturday night awesome. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Oh, right, you guys. Have a great weekend. Seb's like, I'm over here stamping. Don't end the video yet. I'll continue stamping for a while. I got I to gotta finish that up so we can get the completed look. Bye, <laughs> right, guys. Have a good weekend.